you ever scroll on social media platforms like TikTok or Instagram and get an ad for a product that you don't know if it's a scam or not? Well, today we bought 15 of those products. We're gonna test them out and see if they actually are a scam or not. One of the ads that stuck out to me the most recently was this world's best lightsaber, and I really wanted to try it out, so we got one. Here is product number one, one of the world's best lightsabers that I've seen. This thing costs over $100, and this thing better be realistic. So let's open this up and see how it is. I've had a lightsaber since I was a little kid, so I'm very excited for this one. All right, here we go. Oh man, this thing looks legit. I don't even know what all this is. What even is this? All right, here is the base. This thing looks pretty legit. Now this is freaking nice. Let's look at the instruction manual because I actually need to know how to use this thing. So we're gonna spin this on, then we have to attach the actual saber part here. This looks legit and it better be for a hundred freaking dollars. Put this on, they include this tool to tighten this down, which is nice, so it doesn't go anywhere. Now, should we turn the lights off when we power this on or do it with them on? What's the better effect? All right, lightsaber test number one. Pulse. Lightsaber test number one. Whoa. We got the sound. That's kind of sick. Yo, it, it, it looks so legit in the dark. Let's even go darker. Oh, dang. <laughs> That's kind of sick. Hold on. Yo, it, Yo, that was crazy, like you stabbed the camera. I would say this is legit <laughs> as all legit. This thing is sick. I think this is worth 120 bucks. All right, so we have the next scam package here to unbox, and this one actually is not a scam. It is actually the hat that I'm wearing, and my personal brand compliments next drop that is happening this Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern over on complimentsplease.com. This is the orange lobster trucker that I'm so excited to drop. These hats are super limited quantity. The last drop that we did sold out in under seven minutes, and one random person who places an order will be getting a Nike SB orange lobster in their order. September 15th at 12 p.m. Eastern, limited quantities, don't miss out. So the next hat that I saw was for this automatic door closer so that when you leave your room, the door closes behind it. And I thought that was actually a pretty good idea. So here's the product. So essentially you stick this to the wall, you put this on the door and then you can hook this on here. So when the door opens and it closes, it brings it back shut. Let's try it out. We're gonna put on the double-sided sticky tape that they provided. So I think it's supposed to go in like that. We'll take this side, we'll put it right here. And I think we have to take the backing off of this, put this on the door right here and then latch it up. All right, now we open. Uh, that doesn't look right. I'm thinking that it may be too high. Oh wait, let's try this. All right, we open it up and then it closes. But that's a lot of tension to open that door. I guess it's not bad. I guess it does work. All right, I'm going to the bathroom. All right, I'm coming out. I mean, it does work. <laughs> Product number two. I think it works, I don't think it's a scam. Next ad that I got was for this hot puck, which is kind of like a fidget type spinner thing. And I got it right here. They call it a pop puck. And let's see how this thing works. Here we go, press on the edge of the, oh, that didn't work. I may be doing this wrong, so don't come after me yet. Give me a second. So pull back and press down when the bottom puck flies up, catch it. Oh, yo, that worked. Hold on. That was uh, high though. Dang it. Press down, how? I understand what you're supposed to do for this. You press down, click up, and it flies up and you catch it, but I feel like it's not as controlled as they make it look. Try it again. Ah, what? Dude, I'm just, this is just not clicking in my brain. What? How does this work? Product two is not a scam, but I suck at it. All right, next ad that I got was for a mini vacuum cleaner. It's like kind of like a handheld for the car, for your house, and it's very small and apparently works pretty well. So let's see if this is a scam. Here is the vacuum. So it comes with a couple of attachments. We're gonna do the ultimate test and take some Ritz crackers and go for it, just. That's a lot, actually. All right, let's take our attachment and see if this works. I mean, it's kind of working. I have a real test. Let's make some crumbs in the Porsche. Hey, it's Porsche! Here's a real test. We're gonna crumble some up in the front trunk of the Porsche. That is painful. All right, here we go. I mean, 
That looks pretty clean to me. <laughs> to be a little pocket, I think that's pretty solid. All right, guys, gonna hop in here and give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video, which is gonna be Check Check app. Have you ever been looking to buy a new pair of sneakers, but you've been worried about the authentication of the sneakers, if they're real or not? Well, that's where the Check Check app comes in, where you can authenticate your sneakers through the app via photos, and they have over 2 million users and nearly 2 million legit checks. So doing legit checks is super simple. You just go into the app, you click new check, and then you go ahead and select the brand of the shoe. The shoe that we're doing is a Nike Airship. So we click on the Nike, we then click other, and then we're gonna go ahead and take six different photos. We're gonna take a picture of the appearance of the shoe, the inside label, the back of the insole, the insole stitching, the box label, and the date code. And you can receive the results of your legit check within 15 minutes. Check Check combines AI technology as well as expert human authenticators to make sure you have a reliable and accurate results. There's detailed examination of the size tag, the boxes, everything about the shoes. And there's co-authentication by two human authenticators for cross-referencing and re-verification in case of conflicts. Check Check is great for businesses as well. It's great for scalability. It's cost-effective. It saves time. And then it reduces the risk of selling counterfeit sneakers. One of the things I really like about Check Check as well is when you go onto the app, they have a cloud-based system where you can see all the different authentications that have happened. So you can go in and see what people's shoes have passed and not passed and for what reasons. And those can be helpful for you to look out for the shoes that you're looking at before you even do your own check. Now, if you guys use the code Harrison, you can get one free credit when you guys sign up. You can download Check Check in the link in the description down below and definitely use code Harrison to get your free credit. And make sure to use Check Check next time you're thinking about buying a sneaker to have that second layer of safety so you don't get scammed with some fake shoes. And thank you to Check Check for being a longtime sponsor of this channel. The next set that I got was for a wireless switch changer or switch bot, which essentially you put on your switches and then you can press a button on your phone and it can turn the lights off for you if you're like in bed and you don't want to get up. So let's test this out and see if this works. So we're going to use it on this switch here, but what I'm confused about is it can only turn it off. It can't turn it back on. All right, so we're going to take this out so the battery gets released. They got it right here. Oh, dang, it worked. It's that easy. It was already registered in the app. Like I didn't have to do anything. It just knew it was there. We're going to place this like that. And then let's walk across the room and try to turn off the lights. So we have three sets of light here in the warehouse and the one that it's on controls these lights above us. So let's go ahead and see if it works. Press the button. Uh, it's not working. It worked for a second. Wait, here we go. But then what's the point? It worked, but something broke. I think it fell off the wall yeah. when it turned the light off. No, it broke. No, dude, it fell off the wall and broke. One time use. What? Hold on. I think I have an idea of what happened. All right, it works, it works, it works. Why on God's green earth would it do that? When you do it, it pushes all the way out. So it's gonna push itself off oh, of the wait. wall. That makes no sense. Ready? Oh, so that worked. There we go. Okay, let's try this one more time. All right, three, two, one. Okay, successful. Didn't break off and it worked. And I think we would need two of them to make it work the other way. And this looks kind of ridiculous on here, but let's pull this off and put it up here and see if it works the same way. Here we go, lights on. So it does, but what am I gonna have? Six of these across here? That's kind of <laughs> nuts. All right, well, I guess we'll leave it. Next ad I got was for like this molecular speaker, which sounds pretty nuts, but it's this sound speaker that apparently when you play music, the molecules or whatever that black blob on the inside moves to the music. Sounds kind of cool. So this is when we're gonna have to plug in, play some music in with this. Oh wait, is this like a, oh, whoa, that is pretty cool. All right, that'd be sick if it works with the music. So let's see if this pops up on my Bluetooth. There's no like Bluetooth. Oh, there's no Bluetooth button. It's doing something, but from my, is it from my voice? Is this a speaker or no? I'm an idiot. It moves based off of the sound that it takes in. So as I'm talking, it's bouncing. Ah, <laughs> ah. Dude, it jumps. Yo. That's actually kind of cool. I'm gonna buy this. I mean, that's pretty sick. Yo. And imagine if you have one that was like three foot circle, like, like a, a massive big. one. That's <laughs> sick. That's not a scam. All you do is plug it in and then just have some audio going. Yeah, it could just be noisy in your house and it'll be moving around. The dog barks. <laughs> this next product I got a crazy amount of ads for. This is the back stretcher that basically lets you go on different levels of back stretch and can crack your back like crazy. So I might break my back in this episode here. You just adjust it. So let's, we'll start light. You put this in here and then you bend it like that. That's aggressive. We're gonna put this on and then we're gonna get the camera next to my back and see if we can get a pop. All right, ready? Oh, oh, oh I hurt a little bit. Uh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's go lower back. Okay. I think the first time it worked, the next two times just hurt. I mean, it stretched my back a bit, so it essentially worked. I guess it's not a scam. So the next product is called the gyro cut. Now, this is apparently a device that can cut through paper, through like cards, 
but it won't harm your skin, which is interesting. Now that, there's no way that doesn't harm your skin. Look at that blade. Did I get the wrong one? That's gonna <laughs> cut me open. Look. You can cut through paper, card, plastics, and even fabric, but it won't cut your skin. Wait, wait, <laughs> no, I think I know what they're doing. He's saying it won't cut through your skin because he just went like this. Yeah, sure, when you do this, it's not gonna cut through your skin. And then if you take this and you go like this, sure, it cuts, but like you do the right angle, that can definitely cut you. Is that a scam? Or is they just marketing it like, oh, it won't hurt you, but it can cut paper. I get it. You go like this, press it down, it'll cut. Not really. You press it down and it'll cut, kind of. And then if you just kind of gently go over, it won't cut. But if you use these other attachments, this actually can hurt you, so don't do that. I don't like that they advertise it as doesn't cut you. So <laughs> I guess it works, but that's a weird one. The next ad that I got was for a smart lock that has a fingerprint scanner so you can lock your door. We got a couple Couple things here. We're gonna do this to the warehouse door. Instructions read, you have to take off the old door lock. All right, door handle one, off, easy. This is the fingerprint one. So this came with its own screws. Oh, I see. All right, how are we gonna do this? We have to feed this through here. Feed this through here, like that. And then we have to simultaneously connect this while holding this up. I have absolutely no idea how that's gonna work. How am I supposed to hold this up? All right, I might have Nick hold this real quick. All right, I think it's connected. Man, what? You plug this in. So I think I finally got it figured out how this goes on. It took a bit, but we got it. It's not as tight as it could be. I don't care. All right, I think I got it figured out. So I go like this, I can't open it. Are we locked out? <laughs> How? There we go. Oh my god. I literally thought we were locked in. So I did the thumb thing. Here we go. I want to get in. Oh, can't get in. Can't open it. All right. Now I take my thumb and it works. Woo! I would say it works. It's a little complicated setup, not really, but at least it works. Next up, we have a bunch of household objects. Let's head home and try these out. For the next few items, we had to run to the store and grab a few quick items, like some buns, some chickens. You guys will find out later why we need this. Just made it home, and the next product that I saw was this chicken shredder. It's a very simple shredder. You basically put the chicken in, and then it'll shred it very easily. I'm a little suspicious about this. Let's try it out. So we got the shredder, and we got ourselves some rotisserie chicken, so we're just gonna put this in here. Apparently, you're supposed to just spin it like this. How is it? It doesn't stay soft. All right, let's see how we did. See if it shredded it, ready? That did terrible. What is that? That didn't do anything. All right, let's, I'm gonna try to go a little more aggressive. That's what these are for. These are meant to go in the bottom so that it doesn't go away. All right, here we go, proper test. Oh, getting better. That's a little more shredded. Put it in the center. Try one more time. All right, well, is it a scam? Not really, it kind of worked. I guess it's shredded. This next ad is kind of crazy. It's a hot dogger. And I saw an ad for this and I was like, this can't be real, but it is. So we got hot dog buns. Now, normally you can just open a hot dog bun and be fine, but this is apparently for bratwurst or something. So check this thing out. Let's see, <laughs> see if this works. I guess. You can put a hot dog in there. I guess it works. I just feel like this is very inefficient compared to just opening it up like this. The next ad that I got was a can pump, which apparently keeps your drinks fresh in a can once you open them. So we got the can pump here. This seems pretty simple and easy. So we're gonna grab a drink out of the fridge and see uh, if we can get it to work. Maybe we'll check in in like six hours or something and see if it's still fresh. All right, we're gonna use a mini Coke. I think that should be fine. I think it'll work. So I guess you just place it on like this and Close it there and then pump the air out. But then it looks like it's coming out of there, but I don't really feel like that's doing anything. Close the pump until it clicks twice. Ah, now there we go. Oh yeah, that's solid now. Wow, I was wondering, I was like, it doesn't make any sense. So put this in the fridge and see if it's still carbonated in a couple hours. It's actually been a few days. We're gonna test out this Coke and see if it's still got some bubbles in it. It's literally been like four days and that has plenty of bubbles left. So I think that works. The next ad that I got was for this automatic shoe cover dispenser. So you basically step on it, put your foot on it and it'll cover your shoe. So let's try it out. Honey, I'm home. I needed to remove this first. Honey, I'm home. Well, it worked. <laughs> 
Kind of, not really. The next set I got that I didn't even know like kind of existed was a USB rechargeable battery. This is an actual like AA battery that you can just plug into USB and it charges, which is actually pretty good. Like you're playing Xbox and you need to control, you don't want to keep buying expensive batteries. You just plug this in and charge it. Looks pretty good. So I plug them into my PC and charge them up and then I'm going to basically put it back on and just see if they work. It'll be pretty cool if they work and that they're rechargeable so you never really have to buy batteries again. And it's pretty convenient to just plug them into the PC. So there we go. Let's see if it turns on and we have power. It works. The next set I got was a weird little humidifier that they also use to get water from. And it says, is this real? And it has like 300,000 likes. So let's see if this thing is a scam or not. So I guess I fill the bottom up here with water and then I plug it in. So we'll check back in in a second. All right, we're gonna plug this in. If it works, it does. I mean, it's humidifier. Is this supposed to be just for looks? Or are you supposed to like, are you supposed to drink it? I'm just kidding, I'm not <laughs> drinking that water. It's probably just water and there's nothing wrong with it. I feel like if it's sitting there for a long time, then it would be kind of gross. That's gonna wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please like down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. This is Harrison signing out.